This is how you get it. What you do is you dial 0904 251 <laughs> 2000. Bit of music there in the middle of my number. Uh, 2000, and you press <laughs> you press one. We could have a bit of music in between each word if you want. And you press one and you bought. It will only take 20 seconds to do it. Brian in Norwich has done it and Brenda in Billingham, so why not? I was up your region, Brenda. Uh, oh, a week and a half ago. I went to Middlesbrough to see Middlesbrough Spurs. Passed through Billingham on the way. The ICI plant was looking good, Brenda. Hey, it does some days, doesn't it? Didn't half niff that day, though. There's a smell of creosote. Anyway, too much detail. Yes. The fella sat next to me said, is that you? Um, it wasn't. Uh, now, if you're looking for things for the home, and particularly for the bedroom, uh, Kiri's got a great idea. Uh, Alex, listen up. Oh, there's James Newbiggin by the Sea. I once introduced Shawaddy Waddy live on stage in Newbiggin by the Sea. 10,000 people, the Northumbrian coast, you look one way, a beach, the craggy mountainside, the stage I was standing on, 10,000 people, and the Alcan smelting plant just down there. Kind of took the edge a lot of, it. of the things you say, I just don't understand. <laughs> that doesn't entirely surprise me. Do you carry on? I've got some towels up for you. They are in the tweed colour. Yes. <laughs> Coming up in our 11 o'clock hour. But I thought they went quite nicely with the bedding. There's some music again. I know. I'm not sure what's going on. Have we got... They're very excitable. Have we got Derek Doubledecks on tonight? <laughs> very what's, excitable what, tonight. Is there a significance, do you think? Uh, no, I doubt so. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh these would look nice on, as, a, as a sort of guest towel, wouldn't I they? Particularly know, with this. See, Is that what you, you were thinking? That does, that's good, that, actually. Yeah, I know. I'm good, aren't I? But what time? 11... <laughs> and they're coming up at 11, around about 11 o'clock. They're with um, Mark. And okay, so is Mark Rise, the smallest man in the world. Uh, indeed. And there's a set of six days. We obviously can't guarantee he's the smallest man in the world. But... Oh, I don't know. I think oh, it's been okay. scientific right. tests. <laughs> Fair enough. He's, he's not much bigger than Tom Thumb, I can tell you that, officially. <laughs> and the last time I went into town, took him with me for some fashion advice. Yeah. He's quite camp. He's he, very good at it. He Popped him in my top pocket. Oh, yeah. very good. Well, the towel's coming up Brilliant. There in there at 11 o'clock. Hour. Good, good. This is available at, uh, at 7 99 Those T-shirts coming up for the chat shortly as well, so consider those. How's your hairy bits? Do you mind me asking? How, no, because epilation might be the way forward. Because what it does with 36 tweezers in the top of this is it pulls the hair from the root, giving you softer, smoother legs that last longer. Wouldn't you like your legs to last longer? Ah, right. It's got me in the eye, there. That bit there. Um, that's coming up in just a second, an epilator. If you've never tried one, stick around. 7 99 though, is for this.